Next is two complement number. Two complement number was invented to make addition and subtraction faster and easier. Two complement number requires complement complementation. First, you need to know how you can determine the range for two complement number. Okay, so this is the formula. How you can determine range for two complement number for n bit. Okay. So the formula is uh, quite similar with the sine magnitude number formula, except for the negative number, you doesn't have to minus one. So you must remember this formula. For example, for four bit two complement number, so this is the range. For four bit, the range is start from negative eight to positive seven. You just replace four into this formula. And then you will get the value. So the range is actually uh, the value that uh, you need to know uh, how many bits okay, that you, you can use to represent those number. Okay, for example, if you want to convert positive 7, so you can use at least 4 bits. If you want to represent the number that larger than positive 7, for example, positive 9, you cannot represent by using 4 bits. That means by range. So below is actually two examples of uh, the value for positive value, which is positive 6 for two complement, and then negative 6 into complement. This table was also shows the value of two complement number for this sign decimal. In two complement number system, positive number is represented in the same fashion as sign magnitude number. Okay, for example, if you want to represent positive 6 okay, by using two complement number, okay, so you just attach 0 to the magnitude. So actually, we use the same method as the sign magnitude number. So that is for positive number. But for negative number, the representation of two complement is uh, different okay, between uh, the, the sign magnitude number. So this is the step how you can uh, convert okay, decimal number to two complement number. So first step, you need to find positive value. So you need to find positive number. Okay, second step, you need to complement each bit, okay, including, including the sign bit. And the last step, you need to add 1. So we have three steps. How we can find the two complement value okay, uh, for negative number. Find positive value, complement each p and add 1. The carry that occurs out of the most significant bit is discarded. So I will show you example how we can convert negative number by using two complement number system. So this example show the step okay, uh, two complement for negative six. So how you can find negative six okay, by using two complement number. First step, okay, you need to find binary equivalent of positive six. So you need to find positive six. So positive 6 in 2 complement value is actually the same fashion as sign magnitude number. So you will get 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the first step. You find binary equivalent of positive 6. First step is actually the most, uh, the most important step okay, in this 2 complement number system. Okay, because if you... Uh, wrongly convert okay, the value to these bits so you'll get uh, the, the wrong answer. So you need to know the range of the decimal value that you need to convert to binary. Okay, so that's why uh, I have uh, mentioned earlier you need to know the range. Okay, you need to remember the formula how you can determine the range for the decimal value. Second step, okay, you need to complement each bit okay, to form one complement. From first step, you need to complement. Okay, so you will get one, 
complement. So what mean by complement? Complement is actually you change the bit. Okay. If uh, the first bit is zero, so when you complement, you will get one. If your bit is one, when you complement, you will get zero and the rest. So that means by complement, you switch or you change the value. Okay. The third step, okay, you need to add one. You need to add one to form the two complement. So you add one, okay, to the first complement value. So the process of adding is actually the same uh, method how you add for binary numbers, okay, in the previous lecture. Okay, so you need to add bit, yeah, uh, for each column. Okay, and then uh, don't forget to add the carry in value. So example. Okay, 1, 1 plus 1, you will get 0, 1. Okay, so 1 on top is actually your carry in. And then 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, so your carry in is 0. Okay, 0 plus 0 is 0, so your carry in is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay. So you get this answer for your negative 6. Negative 6 into complement is 1010. So this is how you can convert negative value okay, by using two complement system. So you must remember these three steps. Find positive representation, complement each bit, and add one to form the two complement. So your last answer must start with bit 1 because we are converting the negative value. If you perform this method and then your first bit is bit 0, so your answer is completely wrong. Okay? So you need to check from your first step. Okay? Uh, maybe your first step is wrong. Okay? So you must check your answer. And uh, last about this uh, value you cannot check your last answer by using calculator okay because uh, our calculator cannot determine the two complement value okay if you are using calculator to check the decimal value of 1010 you will not get negative 6 yeah. so you will get another value which is you will get equal to 10 so the calculator only can be used if you uh, convert the value of positive value okay? and also the value that you learn in chapter 1. So you can check your calculator. But for this topic, which is the negative value, you cannot check your answer by using uh, our calculator. Uh, that is how uh, we uh, perform okay, the operation of this uh, two complement number. So for the calculator part, uh, that is uh, what I know. Uh, our calculator nowadays cannot check your answer. Okay, but uh, I I'm not sure if uh, there are some calculators can uh, convert okay, the binary representation okay, to the uh, decimal that can check the negative value. So if your calculator can check or you, if your calculator get the same answer as uh, this example, so. Uh, it shows that your calculator uh, can perform that operation. Okay, what I told you is actually uh, from uh, my experience pre previously. Yeah, uh, the calculator that the students uh, used previously. So maybe uh, calculators. Uh, there are some calculators can check. I don't know. Okay, so you you need to uh, uh, refer. Okay, your answer. Okay, uh, for your manual calculation and also your calculator.